guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Prey. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are watching Prey. I'm excited to check out this movie. When I watched Predator over here for the first time on my channel, a lot of people mentioned this movie as well as a must watch. I was kind of surprised that this one got heavily requested so much considering there's all these other Predator movies in the franchise. A lot of people were like, you could skip Predator 2, you can skip these other movies, but you should watch Prey, it was actually pretty good. So I'm excited to watch this one today and to check it out. I don't even know who's in it. I have. No idea, I know nothing about the movie. I just know that it was made in slightly more recent times. It's a more recent movie in terms of the movies that are a part of this franchise, but I, I don't know who directed it. I don't know if Arnold Schwarzenegger is gonna be in it again. I would guess he has to be, right? It's like you have to have Sigourney Weaver in the Alien movies. Like, do you have to have Arnold in the Predator movies? I feel like it'd be weird if he's not in it, but I mean, I haven't seen the other movies that are between Predator and this one. So I don't really know what happens in between. So I don't know, maybe he's not in this movie, but I am really excited to see what this one is like. The movie Predator was a very fun action movie with some like spooky little elements to it, maybe some light jump scares, but definitely had like an almost horror feel to it without being really horrific. Just constantly getting that perspective from the Predator's point of view and those like off kilter tilted cinematography angles that you see in a lot of classic core it you did get some moments like that but it did also just feel like a good fun 80s action movie so i'm interested to see if this movie is spooky or scary at all i'm kind of hoping it's not i i'm hoping it's just a good fun action movie after nightmare season i, I don't really want to watch something scary right now i'm not gonna lie and that's honestly all i really have to say this intro is pretty short and sweet because i've avoided looking up anything about this movie so I'm just going into it with a really open mind and ready to have a good time like I did with the last one. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Prey. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I thought we were going to start in South America, but this looks like North America or something. Are we starting in like a Native American tribe? That is the cleanest wild dog I've ever seen. I mean, not wild, like it's obviously domesticated, but just like living out in a teepee, like that is the cleanest dog I've ever seen. Wow, this is such a different environment than what I was expecting. What was that? Jesus Christ. What's happening? This is gonna be scarier, huh? I'm already like on edge. Oh, she's a professional ax thrower, huh? She's good at ax throwing. That's gonna be her thing. Oh, she's really good. That's gonna come in handy, girl. She gonna be throwing axes at the predator. Ooh, she made a little X. Ooh, what are those? Are we tracking now? Oh, it's a deer. Oh, oh, oh. Is she gonna try to throw an ax to kill a deer? She's signaling to her dog like we're, we're hunting right now. That dog is focused and that deer is deaf. Is the predator coming? He's ruining it. He harshed her vibe. The predator was arriving and he ruined the hunt. She's trying to keep up with the deer just by running, damn. There ain't no world in which you could catch a deer. I mean, the dog could. I guess the dog's helping her out. I was gonna say, like humans are better endurance athletes, but like a deer is gonna be faster. She's, she's kicking and sliding with the trees. Sorry. No, no, what happened? A hunting trap. Poor baby. That dog trusts her, man. Most dogs, if they were in pain, would be like, no, 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 don't touch me, you know? Oh, baby. Guys, nothing can happen to this dog. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, wait, I see what they're doing. They're making me attached to the dog. Is the dog gonna die? I can't. I'm falling for it every time. I always fall for this and then they kill the dog. I've been practicing. It's time, I'm ready for my katamiya. You really think you're ready? You want to hunt something that's hunting you. She, she's going to end up hunting the predator. Is that why this movie's called Prey? She's going to make the predator her prey, like Arnold Schwarzenegger did in the end of the movie. <laughs> well, the dog is doing much better. Oh, he's so cute. Look at the way he, he just keeps like following her and then turning back. Like it, it looks like he's looking off camera to be like, am I doing a good job? Do I keep following her? What do I do? Like, he's so cute. 
Pet's up. Oh. Oh, he's a happy dog. <laughs> I swear to God, if they kill the dog, I'm gonna be so f***ing mad. It's easy. He's smart. Mother is smart creatures, easy to train. True. Was that a was that a joke about her daughter? <laughs> Sassy mom. Your father left you that to cut bread root with. Oh, not to be his dad. Probably her dad didn't want her to be a hunter, huh? You are good at so many other things. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. Mm. She's the rebel. She's a rebel of the tribe, you know. There's one in every family. I'm really loving the sound design a lot already. Uh oh. There it is, the camouflage. Oh, it dropped him off. There he is. He's gonna look scarier in this movie, huh? He's not gonna look as janky. Although he looked gross in the first movie, but it was just like, he just looked mostly gross, not necessarily like super scary. It'll be interesting to see how it's evolved with the technology. Oh, I also remembered like the predator only hunts hunters, right? Typically only men. So she's probably gonna be the first woman that the predator targets because she wants to be a hunter and carries a weapon. Who invited you? We won't be gone long enough to need a cook. <laughs> wow, a sexist joke, great. She tracks well. If we find Pui alive, she knows medicine. Exactly, great. I like that her brother is very supportive. He's not like a dismissive older brother, that's nice. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh, we're watching an ant crawl on the predator and a, a rat too that doesn't seem concerned that the ant was flying in the air. Oh, a snake is gonna hunt the rat. Man, the whole circle of life is happening right here. Oh, the snake knows. That snake was like, oh, <laughs> what? what's over here? Oh, good, dog found We're not looking for wolves. It's not wolf. You see that crushed bone? That's lion skin. Dude, these these this group of boys are so rude for no reason. We're not looking for poop, man. Um, it might help you find an animal that you're hunting, dumbass. Jesus. Oh, is that his blood? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about Pooey, bro. I think he might not be doing so well. The score is really good already. It's so suspenseful. Oh no. Wow, that thing really just left him, huh? Like it's wounded him and then ran away. Are they gonna start like a fire? Oh, the predator is gonna see where they're at. Oh no, they're building. Oh, they're building like a, a stretcher. That's cool. I'm coming with you. I can handle the lion. It's not just the lion. Why is Pooey alive? Yeah. There's something that scared the cat away from its den. I agree. Yes. I've got this. Stay with Boohee. Oh no, I don't like this idea of brother going out to hunt alone. Oh God, she's right. She's totally right. Oh no. Her brother's screwed. What is that? Oh, the snake turned inside out. I knew it was gonna be a jump scare. Whoa, he turned the snake inside out and left it and left it there. That's so fucked up. She's seeing where the predator was last. Man, she's, her and this dog are a pretty spectacular team. I have to warn my brother. Taka, go with her. Uh, we're all splitting up into smaller groups, which is definitely rough, but I totally agree with her decision to go back and warn her brother. Not, we don't need the torches. I'm scared of cat. He didn't even seem phased that she came back. He's like, oh, hi. <laughs> we get some bait and climb up and wait for it. A hunter doesn't need. He hunts. If you're too afraid to hunt, go back to camp where you belong. We're trying out his way. He's trying to, he's really trying to help her get the shot. It's time, Naru. You cut them, man. Yeah. yeah, he's really, oh, he's so supportive. Her brother's gonna die, y'all. Her brother's totally gonna die. Cause it seems like the only person who's supportive of her dreams of becoming a hunter is her brother. It won't matter how sharp it is if you're too afraid to use it. She's not afraid to use it, bro. You think you're ready? Shut up. You've never faced a lion. Maybe you should stop talking or it won't come out. Kill it. <laughs> she didn't shoot it. Oh no. Are you telling me that, wow, that lion is actually really talented. Holy f So that, that asshole did die. She's better, she better kill this lion, y'all. I, she's got to. If the tree branch f breaks, I'm gonna be pissed. Come on, girl, get it. You can do it. Come on, girl. Oh no. Oh no, she didn't get it. Is this her back at home? 
Your brother carried you home. That did not go well. That did not go well. I have to find him. No, you need to rest. No one's believing her about the sinister, gigantic creature that's out there. And he's carrying the lion back, too. Holy sh All by himself. Holy f If the predator sees any of this, like, her brother's gonna have a target painted on his back as being, like, the most talented hunter in the tribe, you know? Is she mad at him? I understand wishing that that could have been your big hunt, but it wasn't. And like, your brother's so supportive of you. Maybe be happy for him. Okay, well, I'll hunt alone if I have to. You can't. Do I need your permission, war chief? Oh, he, that was what that ceremony was for. He was made the new war chief. I had to carry you back. Yeah, he's concerned about you, babe. He doesn't think you can do it, but it's not coming from a place of like, not supporting you. He's just scared. He loves you. You tried it. You just, you couldn't bring it home. I feel bad for her. It seems like she's also concerned because she knows there's something worse out there and that this fight isn't over. But like, maybe be happy for your brother, you know? Like it's, try to support him a little bit. Like he's been so supportive and loving for you, but it makes sense that people would maybe like not have faith in you being a strong hunter at this point, you know? You have to prove yourself with actions before you can earn that kind of respect. Oh, she doesn't want to go out and gather with all the women. She's like, F that, I'm not doing it. If they don't see, we'll show them. Yeah, exactly. That's what I just said, girl. You have to show them. You can't tell them and make them believe in you. You have to show them. Wow, what an interesting metaphor, like watching her walk in the opposite direction of all of the other women. She's going to go forge her own path like a salmon swimming upstream, you know? Ooh, this is gorgeous. I want to go here. I just want to camp here, man. This is amazing. I don't know where this was filmed, but I would like, I would guess Alaska or Canada. It's gorgeous though. Oh, the, the fluorescent blood. The thing is bleeding. I actually really love all of these sequences of watching all these people craft stuff from material that they're finding out in the woods. It's so cool. I know it's not like how they're actually making the rope like on set, but it's cool just to have that, show that resourcefulness on camera. I love it. Oh, she's so smart. She came up with like a little chain system. Bison, right? Huh? Oh, my God, he did not. This is actually tragic. This is like not only tragic for the bison, but like tragic for her people to see something like this. So that looks like the chain, like the same kind of hunting trap we saw the dog's tail get stuck in. And then I don't know, almost like a bullet or something. The predator wouldn't hunt bison. It doesn't hunt prey. So what was that about? It's a trap. Oh, she's getting, the more you struggle, it's like the deeper you get, oh my God. Oh, is she gonna try to use that to pull her out? Okay. Smart, honestly, although that didn't work. This is actually like the worst way to die ever. Dude, filming this scene seems so intense. Nice, okay. Okay, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine. Jesus, where is her dog? Oh! Wait a minute, I just realized the point of this happening. She's gonna be covered in mud now and the predator isn't gonna be able to see her. Oh no, she, did she cleanse herself? Okay, never mind. Everything I said is pointless, doesn't matter. Oh, a bear. Is she gonna try to kill the bear? Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. That's too big. <gasps> That's really bad. It's coming, girl. Oh my God, this is so stressful. She has had a stressful day. Not her dog, not her dog, not her dog. Okay, good, the dog got away. Girl, are you gonna do something? Your dog is running. Protect your dog! Oh my God. Oh, this is, she's had a day. This is terrifying. Oh, she swam under a beaver dam, holy f Is the predator gonna save her? What's going on? Oh my God, that is not something you wanna see on a Monday morning. Oh, she's going to hear it, but she's not going to see it clearly because it's through the brush, the wood. Oh, she can see. Oh, 
Now she's like, holy shit, I, I it's something even scarier to run from. Oh, he's covered in the bear blood. And if you see a grizzly bear get fed up like that, that's insane. What's going on? Enough! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. She's putting up a good fight, but god damn, girl. She's like, I, I said I'm not done! She's playing dirty, she's biting! Oh, god damn. Now they're all fighting her to getting her to make her go home. Oh, now we're getting the in- Oh, right, we have been getting the infrared vision, I just forgot. Yeah, we're getting it more now, though. Oh, no, they're viewing her as prey, like the creature is, so now- Oh, god, these guys are gonna die. Not something you want to hear. Man, it's a shame that they're all probably going to die and no one's going to be able to corroborate her story. People are just going to continue to think she's crazy. There it is. Oh, you boys are screwed. Oh, nope, that's... Oh, those are possums. It's a fake out. It's the fake out. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, you want to die? Have fun. Bye. It's coming. <gasps> it's going to shoot him. <sighs> Oh, those were metal arrows. Come in. Oh my god, again, it's like the repetition of a girl being held hostage again in this scenario. And she's like, please untie me, I'm terrified. Girl, your best defense right now is looking like prey, honestly. Oh, you shot it. Really good job. You messed up its armor, like its camo armor. I mean, you gotta commend them for trying to avenge their friend. She's running. She's like, F that. Uh uh. I'm out of here. It's her brother. Oh no, it's the other guy. Ooh, I love that shot of like moving through the grass at like that level where the grass, the top of the grass is like almost reaching the top of the frame. Uh huh. No, he has us. Yeah. Good job, girl. Good job. Oh my god. The thing is, doesn't he run faster? I really want this guy to survive. Oh no, it's not gonna happen. Oh, it's coming for her anyway. If she dropped the weapon, it wouldn't. Oh, it's so fast! You can't outrun it, babe! It's the weapon, huh? Oh, it's a trap. She fell into another trap. Are these traps that the predator is setting? French people. It's colonists. That's who it was. I was gonna say, it doesn't make sense that these would be the same people. Oh, they had to knock her out. Wonderful. Did the predator save her or not? Or is she gonna be kidnapped? Oh no, she did get kidnapped. The predator just let her go. Man, she's had a day! Her dog? Sorry, they got her dog? The bear skin. The cigars, yeah. You killed them. Oh, that was, yeah, exactly. They killed all the buffalo. Just for their skins. Didn't even use the meat. So wasteful. These are the real antagonists of the story, okay. Oh, they got her brother? Oh my god. Stop, oh my god! Jesus Christ, okay, so they, oh shit. These men are awful. Are you hurt? What? Oh, they tried. They just tie them up out here in this barren landscape that looks like it was burned down? Do they just, are they burning the trees now too? Oh, they're using them as bait. They're, they're so dumb. Wait, that one guy even said, we think the predator is like after the best hunters, but yet we're gonna use these two as bait. All tied up and helpless with no weapon. Morons. <gasps> he's not even noticing right behind him. I like that he's leaving the horses alone. He just took all their riders. Uh-huh. You big dum-dums. I So did these Frenchmen really just burn down all these trees? Like, why is there so much smoke and wind? Or was it a wildfire happened to come through? Like, this landscape is so barren and creepy. I don't know that this thing can be killed. I wonder if the ash will act the way the mud if it did. Bleeds, we can kill it. True. Like the way the mud did for... Arnold Schwarzenegger. I just keep waiting for that moment to come back around. Oh, it got trapped, great. Oh, those two were waiting. Oh, there were, oh, good. They weren't total idiots, they had some plans. Oh, they're gonna put it in a net? Oh, you dumb asses. That's not enough. Oh, it 
it's that kind of net. Fun. It's like a little squeezy net. Love to see that. That's unique. Oh. Ah! Fuck, <laughs> man. Oh, he's got a shield, too. He's really advanced. They have to reload. You guys are so inferior. It's ridiculous. He's probably so disappointed. This is actually so funny, all the ways in which they're dying that are completely their faults. The water was rising so fast. I didn't know it was going to die. So it chewed off its one leg. Oh. She's full of stories and always thinking about the way that the prey and predators must feel and the way in which they act. She's so smart. It was worth it to the beaver, losing its leg to be free. Wait. Oh. Uh-oh. Not her stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarter than a beaver. <laughs> Girl, yeah, that was actually really scary the way you told that story, man. Oh, wow. She's not even running, she's walking. It's preserving her energy. Gotta get her best friend back. I'm gonna shake. You're gonna kill the dog? No, how could you do that? Look at it. Yeah, you deserve to die just for even insinuating you would kill the dog, honestly. She's like, oh, real quick, just gotta get my knife out of this guy's back. Oh. Yes! Yeah! You better hope the predator didn't see that. Or he'd be like, ooh, some new prey. Uh-oh, there's one left. Help me! You have medicine? Oh, he lost a leg. He hobbled back here on one leg. Help me. And I'll show you how to use it. I don't know if you can be helped, man. Maybe. Please. He's the one guy that speaks her language. Oh, well, she's gonna help him to the best of her ability. <laughs> uh, man, he's not bleeding that much, all things considered. And he's also not screaming that much, <laughs> given his circumstances. Please. You're you're honestly acting so chill for your circumstances, dude. What do you see? <laughs> what is it? Boom. <laughs> I'm freezing cold. Please. Don't leave me. The thing is, it's going to see that there's heat coming from it. Oh, wait, maybe not. He's freezing cold. The thing she gave him cooled his blood. So maybe it can't see him. Yeah, he looks dead. Wait, that's actually amazing. He looks dead because of her. Is she noticing that it can't see it? That he can't see the guy? He just couldn't grin and bear it. Grit and bear it. He couldn't do it. Not sorry. No. No. Oh, Tabe, he got the shield off, wow. Oh, his sensor's all thrown off because it's on the mask. Ooh, there are its eyes. Okay, at this point, I think the dog will survive anything. Shoot! I love that she tried. She tried, but you know, she distracted him. That's all that mattered. Oh, good job, girl. Good job. This is as far as I go. No. You're the war. You've been war chief for like a day. <laughs> He's been war chief for a day. <laughs> shoot, babe, shoot. Oh, he's really fighting to the last, the last moment. And she's, she can't move, she, she's frozen. She ran. Oh my God. Man, I thought all three of them would survive. I really didn't think her brother would go out there. That's so sad. Oh no. Sorry. What is it? Oh, it's a French guy. Ew. Oh, it's the fat one who was really awful. Great. That's not what you want to see. That's like worse, honestly, than seeing the predator. Is she going to shoot him? That would be so funny. Is she gonna sneak up on him? <laughs> oh, she ran up fast. Is she gonna use him as bait now? That would be so great. It will come full circle. 
A bunch of little rats around you. Not so fun, huh? Did she cut off his leg? Idiot savage, yeah, uh-uh. She's smarter than you. You think that I'm not a hunter like you? Uh-huh. Oh, she's waiting. She's gonna let him load the gun and at the last second kill him. That is what makes me dangerous. Yeah, true. True, babe. She's... Did she just whistle? Like a creepy horror villain? I love her. Because she ate the orange flower, huh? She moved just enough out of the way. She's such a badass. She's really gained her confidence now, man. She, wow, she shot it in the head intentionally to get its mask. She's such a badass, holy shit. Now she's gonna use the mask. Oh my God, this is amazing. I love that the whole flower, the healing powers that she learned from her mother were just as important as her hunting abilities to make her blood cold and make her invisible. What, are we in the muddy area again? This looks the same. She put the bloody leg there in the muddy swamp area as a trap. And that's why it's hesitating. I think it's too smart. <gasps> Holy f girl. Oh no, you got its blood on you. Oh, she laid all these traps. Uh, uh, oh, she's just. Oh, she got its arm off. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, girl. Oh my God, I'm scared. That shield looks like it could break your head in two seconds. The swamp, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. It's the same tree stump. We gotta get it there. Oh, she managed to do that. Oh my God. Oh my God, sorry, sorry. That thing looks like it's already cutting her neck, honestly. The angle on that is horrifying. She just plucked a tooth? Are you kidding me? She just plucked its tooth out? What the heck? She fights dirty, man. And we've already established that with like the other men in the tribe where she was fighting dirty. Like all these other men, they fight carefully. She's like, nah. Oh, she's gonna start. Oh, she's not sinking in yet. Oh, it's sinking in now. I think it's going to start coming out of the mud, babe. I don't think you should hang out there for a while. It's going to do, it's going to pop back out. Oh! Come on, do it. This is as far as you go. Oh, sh that's part of her plan? She knew, she analyzed his weapon so well that she knew, holy f I forgot about the mask. Holy f <laughs> Holy f She looks like a psycho, I'm not gonna lie. She just got crazy eyes. <laughs> but that was like for vengeance for her brother. Is she gonna carry that thing back? She's carrying it back, huh? Oh my God, I have goosebumps. She said f it, I can't carry the whole body. I just carried the... Oh, and that too. Yeah, she was like, I killed both of them. You really shouldn't throw guns like that, guys. okay. <laughs> Good doggo. <laughs> Damn, man. I like the evolution of her character a lot. I feel like in the beginning, this character started off as a little bit headstrong, very determined, but also, you know, wanted to be taken seriously as this hunter when she hadn't proved that of herself yet. And her brother really believed in her, but he really was the only one who believed that she was capable of it. And I'm really happy we got to see that slowly sink in for her, realizing like she did have what it took, but she needed to really buckle down and prove that. And also, you know, learn from her mother and learn that, yeah, actually she's got all these talents that make her a more formidable threat than other hunters in her tribe. You know, she's got this medicine talent. She also thinks 
a lot more tracking how like the prey would think versus how the hunter would think. And so she knows exactly how to lay traps very well. I like that she had that ability. And so it was fun to watch her become a badass in the end and have all those moments come back around like her piecing together what the mask could do from the predator, piecing together that she could use the swamp as a trap, even baiting that one Frenchman in the way that she was used as bait. I liked all those moments coming back around. It was just a fun, really satisfying resolution to an action movie. I don't necessarily think like any acting in this movie was necessarily superior, top tier. Um, it was kind of generic action movie acting, in my opinion. But where the movie really excelled, I think, was the plot was very unique. The storyline was really fun. The music was really great. The landscapes were just stunning. I also really enjoyed getting so much downtime with the tribe in the beginning and seeing the way the tribe functioned, getting to know some of these other characters and also seeing how resourceful they all were. I liked all the little sequences of showing them using different types of plant medicines or tree bark to braid rope. I, I just liked that. It made me feel a lot more immersed in the world and in the way in which these people live. I thought that was really fun. I also really liked the slow breadcrumbs of these metallic traps, these hunting traps that have been laid and have trapped her dog, trapped her, the cigar, all the bison being skinned because none of that lined up with what the predator was capable of. So I was like, are there other people here? Like, are there colonialists here? Because what's going on? This doesn't make sense. So with that reveal of the French people coming in later and being like a secondary antagonist and like a B-plot story really, just kind of made the story more flushed out and more suspenseful because now there's multiple forces that Naru and her brother have to work against a good B plot can be a lot of fun so that whole time I was like what is going on with these metal traps like we got to see who's laying these traps and I kind of had forgotten about it in the suspense of her running away from the predator in that moment so to have that be revealed was was very fun I liked that it added another layer to the movie you know we had to have all of the moments from the first movie repeat where the characters learn okay this is how the predator sees they they can't see me if I'm cold or obscured in some way or oh this is how their mask works this is how the weapons work and so to watch her realize in real time how the predator functions but in her own way and also have that spin on it where you know instead of using something like mud actually it's the medicinal materials and skills that she learned from her mother i like that a lot more because it was incorporating her culture more as opposed to just repeating the same bit from the first movie with the mud because I think they kind of threw me off there with the whole mud sinkhole in that point in the movie because I thought, oh, well, that must come back around for that reason. I didn't even consider the fact that the orange flower was cooling their blood so that would make it impossible for the predator to see them. I liked that. I thought it was unique, but it still served the same function in the first movie. You needed to have the character realize it. So the fact that they did it in a different way was really fun. All in all, I liked this movie. It was very fun, good time. I think it was relatively well made. I liked getting to see the Predator in a more modernized style with CGI and more modern effects. Uh, he definitely looks creepy. I think he probably looks grosser in the first Predator movie, but in this one, I was more scared. I think because they resorted to the thermal vision a little bit less in this movie and would more so kind of show his movements more because we know that he's invisible at this point. It's not an introduction to the character, so you can kind of play around with whether or not you see him or not. I think they could have maybe taken it a step further and made it even more suspenseful by really making it tough to see him at all. But I loved certain shots like when he was walking through the grass um, seeing the grass move before him and part and see how fast he was running or having the grass tips at like eye height and watching him move through the grass like from his POV. Shots like that were really beautiful and terrifying and I liked it a lot. So yeah, all in all, this was a fun suggestion. I definitely understand why y'all wanted me to watch this movie as well because it's definitely totally different from the first movie. It's a totally different cast of characters, totally different setting and a much more unique take on the story, but still very much feels like it's a part of the exact same universe with the same villain and formidable force. So it's a lot of fun. I think I've said the word fun like 15 times in this outro, but that's kind of how I feel with a lot of good action movies. They just feel fun. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys think about this movie in the comments down below. So please let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know any suggestions you have for things you'd like me to check out next down below as well. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.